tonight, well, my heart's quite troubled. Mitch McConnell, where is your backbone? Where are your principles? Moments ago, Mitch McConnell, 10 other weak Republican senators, they gave their Democratic colleagues a very generous gift, one they've been telling us for two months they would not give them, and that is a big new extension of the debt ceiling. Now, everyone in this country is going to pay the price. Until yesterday, Republicans had been completely united. They weren't going to budge. They were completely ignored and shut out by Democrats on the budget and the whole process. And they promised us, you, we, the American people, that they would not assist the Democrats in raising the debt ceiling. Democrats can do it all on their own. Democrats were panicking on Capitol Hill. Technically, they had enough votes. They, they could have raised the debt ceiling all summer long and rammed it through their own reconciliation. They did not need the help of Mitch McConnell and 10 other weak Republicans, but they could not get it done. Why? Because the radical socialist Democrats and their slightly less radical socialist colleagues, they couldn't come to terms. At stake, trillions and trillions of dollars in Green New Deal socialist spending and massive new tax hikes, record tax hikes, record spending, record regulation. And, you know, all they were trying to do now is ram this through in the middle of the night, along with the debt ceiling. Because Democrats could not come to terms, they were threatening to blow up the legislative filibuster. That's right, we'll go to the nuclear option. Instead of forcing the Democrats' hand, as they said they would, instead of calling their bluff, as they said they would, McConnell completely caved to their threats, and he did it at the last minute. Now, thanks to him and other weak Republicans in the U.S. Senate, Democrats, well, they now have months to work out a solution and get their $3.5 trillion Build Back Better New Green Deal socialist spending bill through Congress. Mitch McConnell, he played the typical sewer swamp game of saying one thing, doing another, making a promise and breaking it. And by the way, Democrats, they're now mocking him and taking a huge victory lap. McConnell caved. That was the headline on Drudge, and that was the headline of Senator Elizabeth Warren. Senator Elizabeth Warren is correct. Mitch caved. And this brings us to an important question for Mitch McConnell. Why would you, the Republican leader in the Senate, Republicans, I thought, now I'm a registered conservative because I've seen too much of this swamp weakness in my life, so I kind of left the Republican Party. When you're right, I'll defend you. And, you know, it's, you know I don't, it's not like I have a chance of supporting Democrats because they're radical socialists. You know, why would you support raising the debt ceiling knowing what the Democrats' plans are? And that is to spend the $3.5 trillion on this socialist Green New Deal. McConnell's office claiming that he was looking to avert a default with a short-term extension at a dollar uh, with a fixed dollar amount. At least they responded to us. What Mitch is not saying is that he and the Republican caucus said they were united and would not do this. They promised not to do this. Mitch now gave Democrats this precious time. Now they can work out their disagreements on their massive spending deal. And by the way, one that will be raising taxes at a record level, spending money at a record level, and that will cause uh, cause inflation to skyrocket, and it will hurt every American family. Already, inflation is costing the average American household $175 more per month. Do the math. Times 12, that's $2,100. That's a Biden tax now, inflation tax, on every single American household. He's only been in office nine months. Gas prices are now at a seven-year high. Food prices are, are up through the roof. The price of raw materials are up. You know, look, look at, for example, everything that you buy, everything you pay for, it's up. Everything's up. And now just think what $5 trillion in new spending will do. Everything you buy will be more expensive. Your paycheck will be less valuable. And make no mistake, Joe Biden's Build Back Better Socialist plan is a down payment for the $10 trillion they really want for their new Green Deal socialism. You know, government paid family leave, guaranteed job, guaranteed government pay, guaranteed government paid child care, government paid college, uh, a tuition amnesty, if you will, where you get, oh, no, you don't have to pay your, your loans back. Okay. 
I wish I had that when I was paying my loan back. Anyway, billions for illegal immigrants, massive womb to the tomb, government entitlements for anyone unwilling to work. I wrote in the book, Live Free or Die, America and the World on the Brink, Socialism, Its History of Failure. Whatever name it's given, whatever manifestation it takes on, it gives the greatest promises of security. We will take care of you. Okay, the same people that say they keep our city safe and don't, they can't maintain law and order, the same people that destroyed our school system, the same people that bankrupted Social Security and Medicare, they broke open the lockbox and they squandered the money, the same people that promised to keep your doctor plan and save money. Now, the United States is the greatest wealth creation system ever created. It will be completely upended. And our great economic system will end as we know it. That is what is at stake. Mitch McConnell, if you're not willing to fight for basic, small government, simple, conservative principles, smaller government, less regulation, capitalism, free trade, fair trade, etc., if you're not willing to fight tooth and nail and keep your promises and protect the country from what we know doesn't work, socialism, it always ends in unfulfilled promises, it always ends in more poverty, and it always ends with people giving up freedom. It's just a matter of how much freedom you give up in the name of false security. But, Mitch, if you're going to keep breaking your promises, then you need to step aside. We need new leadership because clearly your word is worthless. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.